Hello students, welcome to Sort of Sales classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question from ISS 2017 paper 3. Now, here the question is that what are the problems in estimating the linear regression model in the presence of multicollinearity? Now, how multicollinearity is detected? And we have to explain that how ridge estimation it tackles the issue. Now, let's start with what do we mean by multicollinearity? Now, multicollinearity it refers to the situation where so it is a situation where there exist exist high correlations or there exist high correlations between two or more two or more so there exist high correlations between two or more predictor variables predictor variables and if this correlation is equals to one or minus one then we say that there exist perfect perfect multicollinearity multicollinearity now when little or moderate multicollinearity exists it may not be a severe problem but in the presence of severe multicollinearity it becomes problematic so severe multicollinearity Severe multicollinearity is a problem, is a problem because number one, it can increase the variance of coefficient estimates, the variance of the coefficient estimates coefficient estimates and next is it can make the estimates so it can make the estimates very sensitive sensitive towards so it makes the estimate sensitive towards minor changes minor changes in the model so uh, this severe multicollinearity it increases the variance of the coefficient estimates and it make the estimates very sensitive to the changes in the model and this results in the coefficient estimate the coefficient estimate becomes unstable so the due to this the coefficient estimates are unstable and difficult to interpret difficult to interpret so these are the problems in estimating the linear regression model in the presence of multicollinearity now next is how this multicollinearity is detected so how multicollinearity multicollinearity is detected 
Now there are many methods used for the detection of multicollinearity. The first one is that if the estimates of coefficient, if the estimates of coefficients they vary from model to model model to model so the first is if the estimates of coefficient vary from model to model next is that the t test the t test for each of the individual slope individual slopes so the t tilts for each of the individual slopes are non significant are non significant significant that is the p value is greater than 0 0.05 but the overall the overall f test for testing all the slopes are simultaneously zero so thus overall f test for testing all the slopes are simultaneously zero simultaneously zero this is significant that is the p value it is less than 0 0.05 and the third one is that the correlation among the pairs of predictive variables are large so third one is the correlation among pairs of predictor variables predictor variables are large however this third one that is the correlation among the pairs of predictor variables this one is limited because it is possible that pairwise correlations are small yet there exists a linear dependency among three or more variables so it is possible that pairwise correlation are small correlation are small yet there exist there exist a linear dependency a linear dependency among three or more variables among three or more variables and that's why for this testing of multicollinearity we often rely on variance inflation factor variance inflation factor which is in short called VIF which is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus capital R square where this capital R square this is equals to 1 minus S residual sum of square or SS residual divided by total sum of square or SS total now now if this VIF it is equals to 1 then the status of the predictors are that predictors are not correlated correlated if the VIF 
it is less than 5 and greater than 1 that is it lies between 1 to 5 then there is moderately correlation that moderate multicollinearity so we have moderate multicollinearity multicollinearity if this VIF it is greater than 5 then we have high multicollinearity and if it is greater than 10 so if our VIF is greater than 10 then we have severe multicollinearity so basically if the multicollinearity is greater than 5 or greater than 10 we say that the multi uh, severe or high multicollinearity exists in the regression model. Now, next is the ordinary ridge regression method. Ordinary ridge regression method. That is ORR which is one of the most applied solution for addressing the problem of multicollinearity. Now, what we do here is that we add a small, we add a small positive constant k to the main diagonal elements to the main diagonal elements of the information matrix of the information information matrix that is x transpose x now this positive value k this is the Rich parameter. So this k is our rich parameter. So the ordinary regression model would be given as beta cap ORR. This is equals to x transpose x plus k into i, where i is the identity matrix into now x transpose x plus k into i now all of this inverse into x transpose y so beta cap over is, is given by x transpose x plus k i all of this whole inverse into x transpose y now the amount of bias in this estimator is given by the amount of bias in this estimator it is given by expectation of beta cap ORR minus beta which is equals to yes x transpose x plus ki this now x transpose x plus ki this inverse into x transpose x minus i all of this multiplied by v so this is the amount of bias so this is the amount of bias that is x transpose x plus ki all whole inverse into x transpose x minus i all of this into v and the covariance matrix would be given by the covariance matrix would be given by variance of beta cap ORR. This is equals to x transpose x plus ki inverse into x transpose x into 
x transpose x plus ki inverse and it can be shown that there exists a value of k so there exists a value of k for which the mean square error the mean square the mean squared error of the ridge estimator of the ridge estimator this is less than that of the least square estimator this is less than that of the least square estimator so the mean squared error of the ridge estimator is less than that of the least square estimator for some value of k so this is how this ORR or ordinary ridge regression method it helps to solve the problem of multicollinearity